he left the lab. Okay, so little bit on physics. So we'll go history back and forth and then on physics also. So again, I think uh, we, I have got so many videos, but um, it's not working. So I can't do anything. This is a beautiful video, but anyway, uh, so I can't uh, show you. So basically here we have a filament. In the filament, we flow the current and that current produces heat. Heat the production is in the filament. This is cathode, this is anode. We provide, uh, put a lot of high voltage uh, uh, potential difference here. Because to have a thermionic emission, with that thermionic emission, the electron has sufficient kinetic energy, and with that potential difference, it attracts it towards the anode. This is drives the anode, suppose in this case tungsten, and then with the two phenomena, Reynolds slung, again it's a German name, and the characteristic radiation of X-rays are produced. X-rays are produced everywhere. So I can't show you a video, but they are only allowed to pass through a small window. And all this kind of intensity around to have uh, avoid any leakage. This is the modern X-ray tube. You can see here again. This is glass envelope, and uh, uh, we have transformer air to make it cool. We have anode rotor. We have uh, stator unwinding and so many other things. This is uh, another view of X-ray tube. This is kind of modern tube. You can see here a lot of uh, uh, windings here, and uh, this is cathode and anode. Again, this is a beautiful video, but I think it's not going to work. So I'm sorry for this. Uh, can't play the video. So this is uh, uh, anyway. So this is basically I wanted to show here. जब anode से टकराता है ये जो electron एक ही जगह तो heat production 99% ऐसा आप लोगों ने सवाल का जवाब दिया. So lot of heat gets produced and then we need to take 